Hello, hello, and hello to all of my Pisces. This is Queen Amura coming to you with your general reading, Pisces. Let's go. Let's see what your cards have to say. The moon is in Libra. Uh, Libra's ruling planet Venus is now retrograded. When retrograde on the 22nd of July, Venus, when you think about Venus, we've all heard goddess of love, right? But it's the planet of love and pleasure, art, music, aesthetics, erotic love, agape love, you know, so relationships, those kind of things. So source is saying to you, relationships of all forms. So if you are, if people from your past are trying to come back in, even energetically, you may want to check through your house and see if there's any, even if you have like said, hey, I cut them off. I don't talk to them anymore. Don't see them. Don't hear from them, whatever. Source is saying, check your house and see if there's any physical energy, their physical energy, paperwork, pictures, text messages, whatever, anything that's still linked linking you to them that way that that's their way in or if they're linked to somebody or connected to somebody who you no longer let's say it's a a friend of an ex spouse or whatever the case may be and and you had a dream or some kind of download as we get closer and closer to a full moon those dreams intensify i want to make sure you all are not overwhelmed pisces emotionally since you all are the um last sign in the zodiac and I don't want you all to go into escapism. I want you all to use your your ruling planet. Uh, Neptune is retrograde, so instead of sitting there like over, you know, overwhelmed. Why did I have a dream about such and such last night, or whomever, or whatever from the past? I haven't talked to them in a while. What is going on? I want to use that energy to dream bigger. Okay, let's get into your reading. Let's get into your reading. The moon is in Libra. You, everybody already has the questions. They were pinned to um, uh, Sunday's reading, right? So here we go. And the reading is dated the 23rd. So here we have 23rd of July. Here we have the sun card. So sources saying stay in your sunlight. We have the world card, right? We also have the eight of swords. We also have the five of cups. We also have the four of cups. And we also have the page of cups. So somebody who has some deep emotions, whether they're good emotions or bad emotions from your past is still thinking about you. So here's the thing. If you had a dream about or had a deep feeling about something or whatever, there definitely could be some people lurking. If you're on social media, they could be lurking. They could be talking to other people about you. They could be, you know, plotting and planning. Whatever it is, you're divinely protected. Source is saying you can cleanse by your element. You're a water sign. And I'm talking to you if you have Pisces anywhere in your birth chart, right? Um, and so... Right before this moon in Libra, and we're in a waxing crescent moon phase, and so the, the, the laser focus should still be on, I'm setting my intentions for this particular cycle. So I want to make sure everybody's not, you know, their water is not spilling all over the place emotionally. Why did I have a dream about that? I'm so stressed out. You know, I got this project do at work, and how did I, why did this come back up in my spirit? I want to help you all to stay laser focused, okay, Pisces? So... Um, if you're having dreams and downloads about things that, you know, physically you said, there's no way I'm letting certain energies back in my life. See how this person has their eyes up in the air like, oh my God, I wouldn't let this energy in my life if I saw a pig fly with wings and there's that pig with wings, right? See this bowl right here? Source is saying, toss it into a burning bowl. Toss it into a burning bowl. Get whoever's name it is, anybody that's connecting you to them toss it into a burning bowl release it in love i release this in love because i'm and that's your way of putting a manhole cover over the past because someone is heavily thinking about you and sources say the cycle is closed out but you want to make sure if it comes back up it's not distracting you from staying in your life purpose right so if you're still struggling to find out what your life purpose is look up the definition of purpose right and so, and then rec recognize, obviously, you're in human form, right? You're a human being. And so match your gifts and talents. So for instance, if you are a healer, God may have been sending a lot of hurt energies across your path while you're growing up, you know, and looking for your healing energy. And so you, you now you just have to know when to close out cycles, right? When, when to close out cycles. Because somebody from your past is looking for your emotions. They are trying to appeal to your emotions to some degree. Um, they're trying to get you scared or angry or frustrated or connect, connecting to you sexually or something, something having to do with, with that sacral chakra. Remember, sacral chakra is the element of water, but it's your emotions, your creativity, your joy, your sexuality, your sensuality, but it also is your creativity. So 
It can be a wide range of things. And so when in your past, there could have been people who had crushes on you or who could have tried to appeal to you sexually. That source is saying, go ahead and close out that cycle. Just close it out. You don't have to wish anything bad on them. You don't have to wish any harm to come to them. You close out the cycle. That's what God is trying to get somebody to do and recognize what you add to this universe as a Pisces, right? You all are empathetic. You all are artistic. You all are emotional, but in a good way. You all are selfless. You all are natural healers. You all are very compassionate, intuitive, gentle, very wise, and in most cases, musical, right? So this, these are things that you can say to yourself. You can pin those those descriptions and add whatever else you will ever other, you know, great things about yourself to, uh, you know, write it on a post-it note, um, you know, pin it to, uh, or, or tape it to your refrigerator or to your mirror. So when things come back from your past and you're starting to feel overwhelmed and it's causing you to feel moody or negative or lazy or an idealist or an escapist, you're trying to escape reality. You're going back into that energy is trying to appeal to my emotions. There could be something else going on. You could be dealing with somebody from your past who is mentally ill. And you know, we don't joke about mental illness on my channel at all. That's very serious. It's just as serious as your, your physical health. But you could be dealing with somebody who is obsessed. You know, somebody who is trying to... Imagine you looking down in a hole because somebody from your past is trying to reach out to you via telepathy. They're gone to see somebody who wants to connect with you, right? King of Pentacles, the Temperance card, the Four of Wands, the Three of Wands, the Four of Cups, the Seven of Cups, right? And so this King of Pentacles, a lot of people from your past want to re-enter your life because of this card right here, the King of Pentacles. This is financial wealth, you know, that you're coming up on. So it can be a number of reasons why people want to reconnect with you. And it could be a lot of people that's trying to reconnect. Um, but source is also, like I said, here's the seven of cups. This number seven right here, even though you don't see the shape of the number seven, seven is God's way of trying to piece things together. Source is saying to you, you had a Kundalini experience. And so when you see that Kundalini, that Kundalini experience is a, it's a serpent, right? It's like that coiled serpent at the base of your spine, spiraling up, like getting your attention, awaken, right? Awake. Awaken, awaken. Something is trying to get your attention. And so and instead of you sitting there like, what is this? Why did I have that dream? God is trying to get your attention as somebody wants back into your life, right? So the relationship could have been a friendship that went sour, that went left. It could have been a romantic relationship. It could have been family relationship because a lot of people feel like money is coming your way. So source is saying, see things from an expanded view. There's a lot of people who, you know... They um, people assume water signs that you, Scorpio, and, uh, and Cancer are emotionally can get emotionally unhinged. That's why when you think about water, think about water being reflective. Water takes on the shape of whatever you put it in. So if you went to a church where there was a whole lot of underlying, you know, energy in there that reflect you reflected, you could have reflected that energy, or you were dating somebody and. They came from a family where there was just a whole bunch of chaos and confusion. And you felt like, okay, I don't know why I feel so chaotic and confused in my spirit. You could, you're picking up on their energy. Or you walk in spaces where you feel like, okay, I just feel overwhelmed. Like you want to cry or get upset or laugh or whatever. Source is saying to you, learn what your limit is. So that before you reflect the energy around you, you want to know, okay, I feel like my, the water within me is getting drained. And I'm now I'm pulling on all of these energies outside of me, pulling for their water, their emotions, right? So source is saying to you, you're going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted off of your shoulder when you realize that, hey, I need to move on from overthinking. This is you here and this is you here, right? This is self-sabotage to keep overthinking something. This is a person who's not clear on what their purpose is. So that's why I said look up what your purpose is online so that when you feel like your water is getting low emotionally, you feel like I feel spiritually dehydrated and I feel like, you know, I'm about to break. Like think of something drying out, like breaking. Like think about like a spaghetti noodle or something, right? When you put it in that water, you're boiling that water. That thing is just as loose, you know, it's just limber. But when it's dry, you can just easily crack it in half, right? Or as many pieces you need to. When you feel like emotionally you're getting drained and dried out, uh, Pisces, before you break or snap or you're pulling from someone else's toxicity to wet your, you know, to, to nurture your body, 
that's where you say, I got to get away from negative energies. I don't need to look at anything negative on social media. I don't need to be open to hear when I see my phone ring and I see certain people that's calling with a bunch of toxicity. I don't need to answer that call. I need to let it go to voicemail and I need to, you know, nurture myself. Right. Or if I start having thoughts about things because they downloaded from dreams or whatever. Source is saying, just like this person in this picture. See how there's all of this water right here. I need to get around my element. I need to be around other creatives. I need to take a swim, drink more water, you know, because, you know, and other things too, like somebody may be thinking it's their allergies because his nose is itching or your ear is itching or the roof of your mouth is itching. It could be people talking about you, all kinds of things that's happening. But source is like, you don't need to sit around and spill, pour a lot of water out. What you want to do is refill, replenish your water. And that's why you see this person handing this cup. This is your ancestor saying, drink more water. You got a lot of things to be happy about. Drink more water. That's what your ancestors are saying. Drink more water. Replenish. Drink more water, right? So pay attention to that. So you do have a guardian angel that's watching over you that's saying to you, just close out cycles airtight. Get serious about your life. You know, stop allow allowing energies to overwhelm you, manipulative energies to overwhelm you. You're moving towards an enormous amount of wealth. Here we have the five of cups, ten of swords, ten of pentacles, nine of pentacles, queen of pentacles, and ace of pentacles. So all of this is money. So source is saying not only do we have the king of pentacles, we also have the queen of pentacles. So your reputation is intact. People see you as an asset to their lives and not as a liability, not as a liability Pisces. So this could be where, and, and again, you all know I'm talking to you if you have Pisces anywhere in your chart, not just your sun sign Pisces. I'm talking to you. Even if your MC or IC is Pisces, I'm talking to you. Source is trying to, is telling you your reputation is intact. There's a lot of people who have spoken negatively about you in the past that want access to your life because they have a point to prove. Because they lied on you, they said all kinds of things about you. They're talking about you can't, you don't have any control over your emotions. You're emotionally unbalanced or unhinged or whatever. But remember, you're highly creative. You know how, like for instance, if you look at it from this space, you know a lot of um, a lot of people who are in creative spaces, whether you're an artist, a painter, artist in any form, painter, a writer, a singer, a songwriter, a author of books, whatever it is, plays or whatever may dress differently. You may have a different type of style than people. Um, your sexuality may be fluid in your sexuality, whatever it is. People look at creators, people who are highly creative as something being wrong with them, especially if you're dealing with people who um, who don't under who haven't really tapped into their creativity or they've been raised to be very rigid. Source is saying to you, you don't have to fly low on their frequency to even go back to hearing about what a person is saying, what they're up to. You don't even have to be nervous about them even following you on social media if they are. Source is saying, contain your water. Protect your water from those energy because that water is your creativity is make is going to make you very very wealthy and so here we have the uh, nine of pentacles so that number nine represents um, or symbolizes a transformation you're transforming into a very wealthy lifestyle and sources say your pri your primary goal should be your legacy here your legacy you worked very hard for this Pisces it, who th whoever thinks whatever about you sources saying you're leaving a lot of money and creativity on the table because for somebody somebody has thought about it had a dream toss it right into a burning bowl and said God thank you for just let me know I need to toss it into a burn these people are trying to contact me via telepathy let me toss it into a burning bowl I'm going on with my life right because they're trying to you know now that the swords are now out of your back and you survived a lot of slander a lot of a lot of negativity they would try to come back around your life your your um your come back into your life with this slash slick grin but the person you are today you're not afraid of the shape shifting you was you somebody may have seen shape shifting in their dream like you could have seen like half of the person's face in your dream and it seemed like you're seeing a profile where it looked normal but you never really got a chance to see the other side and that other side would show you a very demonic face 
And so source is saying, you've already lamented over things in the past. There's no reason for you to lament over things anymore. So five of cups came out twice. Source is saying, you don't need to lament over things. You're, that's what your guardian angel is saying. It's like, you don't need to lament over those things. You don't even need to ruminate. Four of cups and a five of cups came out twice. Source is saying, you don't need to vibrate at a lower frequency. I wonder why I'm having thoughts about this person. You don't need to be frantic and running around your house. Oh my God, I wonder if they're trying to, I wonder if somebody who's watching me online, you don't have to do all of that. Source is saying to you, your guardian angel is just alerting you that these energies want back into your life to some degree. Like I said before, because things are happening for you fast. It could happen because somebody may have heard, let's say you have kids, right? And your kids are doing extremely well, right? Let's say your kids, you have young adult children and they're doing very well. And somebody can say, oh yeah, you know that that is um, Pisces son or daughter, or you know that that's, um, they're related to Pisces, you know, wherever Pisces is, even if you're a cross watcher. Um, and you have Pisces in your birth chart and you just happen to stumble across this video and go, wow, that sounds like that sounds like what's going on in my life. Right. So if it resonates with you, drop a comment below if it resonates with you. But somebody could have heard that your kids were doing very well and like, oh, I know them. I didn't know that that was their son or daughter. Oh, my God. Let me see if I can reach. But I know them. But they don't. They forgot about the part that they played roles in that sword energy in your back. The smear campaigns, the lies, the creating stuff that really wasn't there, all of that. And so they're trying to appeal to you via telepathy if they if they don't have, or it could have been somebody that's a restraining order or something. You know what I'm saying? Like that's trying to that's trying to reach back out. Because restraining order is not always like a, a physical um, you know, physical somebody physically did something to you. It could be, you know, just to keep people apart from each other. But some some energies are definitely trying to get in contact with you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. And so she's like, mm -mm. nope. It's going to make sense to somebody today why, you know, things have happened. You know, even when in a when if you were in a dark space, because that's a five of cups, maybe you were lamenting over some things or it, when you were in a dark space, it's going to make so much sense to you today why God may have had to enforce some kind of a restraining order against them to protect you. Because if you are being the most compassionate sign in the Zodiac, you may have just let that energy back in. And next thing you know, they're dragging you back in that dark space with them. But source is like, no, keep your vibrations high. There's a lot of people that want to be connected to you now through other people. We we have the Dame of Swords, the Ace of Swords. There it is, the Queen of Swords, La Luna. There it is, the Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. And so Swords is saying to you, see this machete right here? This is motive. Go ahead and cut it in half. Like, you know what? I'm just cutting that right out of my life. There's no way I'm sitting there thinking about why somebody from my past is trying to resurface. And this is letting me know right now. You know, so here we have right here. These are certain family members that walrus represents family members, right? There's certain family members who's, you know, like they're overwhelmed right now emotionally. See how this walrus is underwater? They're overwhelmed emotionally. And so you could be feeling like, and family members, let me just be clear about family members, right? Family members are not just relatives, right? People who are blood related to you. Family members could have been like an ex-spouse friends or whatever that were like a part of the family as well or it could have been your friends that you considered as like you know how people say this is my play brother or play sister or whatever or you know whatever they're overwhelmed emotionally right now and so there's a lot of people that see this crab and also this tortoise that your shell when you put feelers out there you get bad energy that's that your protective shell, right? So source is saying, I'm, I got you protected. There's no reason for you to go back energetically, emotionally, trying to sit there all day thinking about why did I have this dream and all of this. Source is like, type it out, you know, on your electric notepad and your cell phone. I got, I had a dream about such and such last night, but I'm telling you, I'm always also filling in the blanks here too, because you always go to God first and say, God, why did I have a dream about such and such? Because those energies really want to see you in spaces where they can reconnect with you in some kind of way. It would like, for some people, when you talk about people who are obsessed, they just want to position themselves in places where you are. You know, you, you're dealing with some very manipulative energies. And so Source is saying to you, leave the past behind. You're going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted. Um, and you'd be surprised at the people who are obsessed, like they want to be with you. They want to be with you, you know, intimately. <clears throat> They want to be with you in a lot of different ways. So pay attention to all that. But anyway, somebody's going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted off of your shoulders. <clears throat> Excuse me, Pisces. 
in both in both situations here. So I see new and exuberant love coming across somebody's path, and I also see I also see financial independence. So there are energies that want to resurface in your life because of the financial independence, but the thoughts are coming through. If you think about Queen of Swords energy, Queen of Swords, and I'm talking to men and women Pisces. <clears throat> If you think about Queen of Swords energy, like on you see a woman, right? The queen. That's some that you're thinking like more maternal energy, but that energy is trying to appeal to you. They want some level of access back into your life. And these are energies from your past that want some level of access back into your life. But I wanna I wanna caution somebody. Anybody from your past, whether it's family members, like family members, connected to an ex, anybody that you once let that get that close to your heart. <clears throat> that were committed to misunderstanding you to a point where they were just like literally, you know, emotionally draining and overwhelming for you. You couldn't see them as a person that you could like rescue you from anything. Like for instance, let's say you were depressed because you left, <clears throat> you lost loved ones or some things have happened in your life where you just felt overwhelmed and they kind they came posing as a friend, right? But they they made things worse for you. They they were the ones that ran smear campaigns. Like they would tell they were smiling in your face but talking about you behind your back trying to ruin your marriage, you know, trying to ruin your friendships, trying to ruin your reputation, trying to compare you to them. I mean, literally they made it all about them. Sources like leave those people in the past because you now know they have it in them. A lot of times people are like, being compassionate doesn't mean that I got to go back in, into a lion's den. All I need to know is that when I was in darkness, these, these are the energies that attack me. They try to attack my character. They try to attack me, right? So you now know they have it in them, right? You know they have that... They have that that animal in that animal instinct, you know, in them just to attack whoever they think is weak. So it, to put yourself back in those spaces would be <clears throat> would not be the wisest thing to do. It wouldn't be the wisest thing to do, and especially like if there's a restraining order involved, where there's a restraining order against somebody else, they will they will um, quickly play the victim, and next thing you know, you will be detained. So you got to be real careful about going back into situations where now you're starting to pick up on, oh, uh, why am I all of a sudden thinking? Remember, Venus is retrograde. Venus is about relationships. Libra is, uh, well, the moon is in Libra. Libra is a partnership sign. Uh, Pluto is retrograde. So there's a lot of mix of emotions because Pluto is a generational planet. And then Neptune, your other ruling planet, is retrograde. So those two generational planets, there's a lot of emotion going on. So not for just you, but people that you work with, people in your family, you got to stay laser focused, laser, laser, laser focused. So let's go ahead and close this out, Pisces. You all have it. You have it under control. You, you really have it under control. A lot of times, that's why I teach the way that I do on my channel and not just give you a reading and just say, oh, these are the things that's coming up. And these are, it's not just for entertainment purposes. I'm trying to help you. <clears throat> Literally trying to help you tell you. Okay, so this is what you said. I'm leaving these energies behind and these two, two sources saying to you, I am aligned, right? So it could be two energies that you're leaving behind. It could be more than two energies, but they're connecting to two, like fear and doubt or uncertainty or addiction or whatever. They're connected to two of your demons. And so it can be multiple energies. So like when you think about it and you feel like, okay, I get anxiety or fear or doubt or whatever. When I think about certain people, places and things, source is saying to you, whoever you think about or whatever you think about from your past and you have these emotions uh, tied to these things, you want to be able to toss that into a burning bowl. So here we have two, two, you are in possession of incredible creative powers and it is assured that you can achieve anything that you wish. That's right. This is a master number. So whenever you see a master number, one, one, two, two, three, three, all the way up to nine, nine, that's God's way of saying, I'm trying to get you to master something at a higher level, right? That's, that's God's message to you. Cause a lot of people say, well, I saw 11, 11, or I saw, you know, 22 or 33 or 44. Well, what does all that mean it means that god is trying to get you to master something at a higher level right and so these are relationships that god is trying to get you to master at a higher level but the first relationship you have is with yourself 
That's the first relationship is like with self, with God, right? So when you see number 22, as you're seeing it here, it means that you're able to download higher divine wisdom into a physical reality. You're able, you're designed to build project business ideas from the ground up with lasting results. It also means that a, you're a master at invoking peace and calm in your daily life. So again, to go back into a lion's den <clears throat> after some energies have tried to bully you, lie on you, lie to you, smile in your face, sabotage you behind your back, all of that, that would be self-sabotage to go back into those spaces. A lot of people are talking about you right now. A lot of people are talking about you right now because they want access to you. A lot of people want access to you. So continue being a bright light in some dark spaces. And let's go ahead and close this out. Let's go ahead and close this out. That's that number there. Let's pull an um, affirmation card and let's close it out. Let's go ahead and close it out. Let's go ahead and close it out. So leave all of that energy in the past. Affirmations for productivity. I focus on projects aligned with my long-term goal. I move away from disturbances. I walk toward focus. I summon my attention to all that is crucial to my success. I take breaks to avoid, avoid burnout. I'm grateful for my work. I release tension. I allow my mind to move into a state of flow. All right. That's what I have for you, Pisces. Thank you for joining me. And I will see you all on Midweek Wednesday. Again, even if you see this this video on like, you know, the end of the month, remember the video is for the 20, uh, the 20, uh, 24th of July through the 24th of August. So a lot of times when people don't watch it on that particular date, they don't think it applies. So these videos take you out for 30 days, right? So that's what the dates are for the video. So I announced the dates. So uh, if you, if you, if any of this resonates with you, drop a line below. That's what I have for you. And I'll see you on midweek Wednesday. Bye.